The accumulation of the magma under the Askia has now resumed. This is a volcano in the central part, mostly toward the east slightly. And uh, that area was experiencing some tremors over the uh, years. And we have eruptions there usually. It's a basaltic eruptions usually. Effusive means that the magma in the form of molten rock comes out and then solidifies. Uh, there is a lake there. This lake is notoriously famous because uh, uh, in the past people, explorers, German explorers famous for that, have disappeared into this lake. When uh, the lake in the winter melts, we know that there is a magmatic or heat rising from the magma source anyway to the surface. When it erupts, it can be explosive. The last eruption in 1961 it was, but before had in the 19th century we had bigger eruptions that actually caused a decline in the ship population, and you know uh, the life was affected in the uh, Iceland from this. I have videos about this uh, volcano, one meter or around 0 0.8 meter, we should say, of land rise due to the magma accumulation is now happening there in the Iceland. There is a volcano in Iceland which is not tourist friendly at all. It is not a joking matter. This volcano, when it erupts, it will create huge disruption, not just in the Iceland, but all across Europe. When this kind of volcanoes erupt in Iceland, which are lake based, as you can see, this is a lake shore, they will create a huge ash plume all across Europe. It's called Askia. And today, Askia had an earthquake, magnitude 3 earthquake. And interesting is that this earthquake happened on the fourth line, which passes the main crater lake of this volcano. As you can see, the water around this uh, time of the year is frozen in the lake. But over the past few, past few months, it has started to melt gradually. And it looks like this, partly at least. This volcano has a lot of displacement rising due to the emplacement of magma. And when we use the thermal imaging equipment, we see that the heat source is coming from around the lake where the fault line is. These are the white and uh, yellow showing the most heated areas. So when this volcano erupts, watch out, escape is not friendly. Magma is rising in Askia. Askia is a region in the central parts of the Iceland. It receives less rain than the rest of the country because it's in a rain shadow of the central range. And uh, the magma is gathering there since the, uh, 2010, we have noticed that. Uh, our seismogram shows a renewed activity. Magma is rising there all the time. The discontinuity you see there in the tremor chart, I believe that this is not due to the failure of the devices. Maybe NATO or Americans are doing tests, so they have to turn off the seismogram so you don't see those the tremors, those explosions they are doing there, the weapons test practically. What you see in the central of the regions of this area, in the summertime when it is accessible, in the wintertime it is a no-go area, so practically you cannot go there, is a lot of thick layers of lava formed over the, you know, 200 years and before that even, we have found the uh, Lapilli uh, pyroclastic deposits of the Askia as far as Romania and uh, even probably Anatolia. And uh, that's the reason this volcano is important. If it erupts, it will create a lot of chaos in the aviation in those areas. So that is the reason we keep monitoring this area. Uh, as you can see in, the, in these charts, one of these craters, numerous craters exist there, shows the sign of actually magma rising is not an imminent threat of the eruption, but the magma is rising there continuously. It needs more mass, more pressure, gases, volatiles to actually create a subplenian uh, eruption in that region. And that can actually be something violent that we have to worry about. Askia compared to other volcanoes, as you can see here, is, uh, is uh, going to create a huge ash cloud which rises to the stratosphere if, if it uh, faces the right conditions. So there is something to look at here for the future.